The day has finally come when my trusty fishing rucksack that's been with me through many of the videos I've put out on this channel has finally broken and I've retired it. I've been browsing the market for a new one and I've selected one that I think fills all my requirements. In this video I'm going to give you a bit of a product review and then we're going to get out on the bank and do some field testing to see how it performs in a fishing scenario. So if you're sat there thinking, well Ewan, why are you doing this? One bag is the same as another. Let me assure you they're not. After extensive reviews of all of the products on the market I finally settled on this one. This is a Sabre compact rucksack and the reason I chose this one was primarily for the number of pockets and also the external fastenings on it which is really really key for the style of fishing and the kind of things that I want to use it for. So to start with the external pockets it has one big front pocket with a really nice kind of elasticated subdivide on the inside and then it has on each side of the bag some nice big deep side pockets. What I like about these is they all have double zips and they open really far down which means even the smallest thing you drop in there you can easily get out. It also has a big main pocket with a really nice double zip again which opens up into a big compartment and it also has an extra little zip pocket in the lid for all of your valuables. On the side pockets it has some elasticated retainers, so anything you can imagine that can fit in there. And on the top it has some nice clip retainers, so something like an unhooking mat, possibly even a fishing rod might go in there. On the back it has some really nice heavy duty shoulder straps and a chest strap, which all seem very adjustable. It also has an additional two clips up near the top, so you can use those to tighten up the straps or even secure something underneath. The back pad is really nice and soft and really thick foam in there, so I think that's going to be really comfortable to wear. The bottom has this extra plasticky, hard-wearing, waterproof pad on it as well, so when you're setting your backpack down, you're not going to wear through the bottom. The final thing to point out are these elasticated bank stick loops, of which you have two on each side, and they hold a bank stick in there really nice and securely. Overall, I'm pretty excited to get some tackle in it, get my rods and get out on the bank, catching some fish and seeing how the rucksack holds up to the elements. On the floor here is everything that I've been taking out trout fishing currently. So I've taken it all out of my other bag and I'm going to load it up into this new one. See if it all fits, see how I can arrange it and then we're going to go and try and find some fish. The first thing to go in is always going to be my licenses and permits. Well all my gear fitted in absolutely no problem with loads of room to spare so I'm really confident it would even hold barbel gear or stick float gear if you're going out trotting on the rivers. I'm going to eat some lunch quickly and then we're going to head down to one of the local rivers. I've been fishing for a few hours now and I've had a really good opportunity to try this rucksack out and on the whole I would really recommend it. There's only one slight negative I can find and that is it's sometimes a little hard to get into and out of as I found out when I tried to put it on initially. Oh, why can't I find this strap? Where is it? There it is. Okay, let's get this chest one done up. Mm. And the under one. Hey, there we go, we're in. However, the guys over at Sabre obviously realised this and included the two clips on the front, so you can just unclip them and you're instantly out of the backpack. Overall though, having the straps as tight as they are and the chest strap means it actually feels really secure when you're wearing it. So if you like to wear your backpacks really loose and casual and like to be able to slip them off, this probably isn't the backpack for you. However, if you like a really secure feeling backpack when you're roving, one that doesn't move around too much, one that doesn't flap around when you're walking and wading, this is definitely the one for you. The straps fit really securely and hold the backpack really firmly, so I don't have to worry about it flapping as I'm walking down or even slipping down sometimes these hills. 
I'm gonna carry on fishing for a little bit more now and just to see if I can land one fish. So the other thing I wanted to check was whether this is waterproof. I can't actually remember if it says it is or isn't. It's been raining a little bit and it feels, to be honest, perfectly dry. Also, I've had a wet uh, unhooking mat on the top there, which obviously is right next to all your valuables in the pocket underneath. So let's see if it's soaked through at all. No, everything in that pocket feels absolutely dry, which is brilliant. So I highly suspect this is some kind of water resistant material, which is absolutely fantastic for when you're out on the bank. So even though I'm going to end the review portion of the video there, I am going to keep fishing and you can watch that video and all of my captures by clicking the link on screen in just a second. I've been overall really impressed with this for a backpack. I should also mention that I'm not sponsored in any way, so this has just been my complete honest opinion. I hope this has also been really useful if you're either looking for a new backpack or thinking of buying this specific one. If it has been useful, remember to do all the usual things, like, comment, subscribe, and that means you can stay really up to date. It also helps me out. It makes sure that I keep creating content and keep trying to strive for the best videos I possibly can for you to watch at home. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.